hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing week two of december um, spending and cash on stuffing so week two for me consists of december 6 to december 12 and i laid down some stickers already of my spending um monday i bought some gifts on amazon so that was 10802 went to mcdonald's and i got myself some um holiday pies so that was 319 um tuesday was a no spend day the only thing that came out was the wi-fi bill and then wednesday was also a no spend day and another bill came out which was our pest control and then on thursday um i did a little bit of shopping that was 232.97 more shopping on amazon that was 35.45 um reloaded my starbucks gift card for 20 bucks and then our itunes um fee or the what is it the itunes storage was 2.99 and then Friday, we went out to eat. That was $72.01. Netflix got paid and car insurance got paid. Um, and then Saturday, I went out shopping. I did a little bit of Christmas shopping. Um, so I went to Macy's. I went to Nordstrom, um, got myself a coffee, and then I also got myself something to eat. It was really nice, you guys, because I was by myself. I left the kids with my mom. My husband went out with his friends um, to like a holiday party and it was so nice to just have the afternoon evening just by myself like it has been so long since i've been able to like shop and look around and you know just have some me time so that was nice um and then on sunday i went to get my nails done um it was 138 because it was a full set uh gel pedicure and then my daughter also got a pedicure and then with tip it was yeah 138 so that is that for um, the second week. I have here my spending tracker, which is what I write here, the date, the description, the category, and the amounts. I also have post-its of how much I'm going to pull out on each thing. That way I'm not adding everything as I go because I did that for week one of December and it really confused me. I, was, I felt like I was all over the place. So um, having this little list here is going to make this a lot smoother. So let's get started. I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to get my little cash tray here. Um, so for my cash envelopes, I didn't spend anything in groceries because my husband ended up buying groceries for the week. So that money uh, is going to stay here. Um, and then eating out was a total of $91.97. see how much we have here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So we have $90 and that's fine. I'm only short $1.97, but it's no biggie. Um, and I'm actually going to write down as well what I'm pulling out. So I'll just keep this to the side. Okay. And then for gas, um, I put $50 in my tank. I've been doing a lot of driving. So... I'm sure okay so i have 60 so i'm gonna do 60 get a 10 back so this will also stay here so 90 and 50 okay nothing on household spending i did spend 116 dollars and i have 100 here so i'm sure it's 16 which is fine i have a buffer in my checking account that will cover that Kids, I didn't spend anything. Pets, nothing. Okay, beauty, I did spend. So I paid, already paid for my nails. I paid cash. Um, but then I also, when I was at Macy's, I got myself like a little makeup gift set. And that was 30, how much was that? 36.24. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I only have $7, which means that I'm pretty short. I'm short 30 bucks. Okay, I actually forgot that I had $10 left over from the cash that I took when I went to get my nails done. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 in beauty. Um, so I'm going to pull this out and I'm short like 20 bucks. And again, that is completely fine. I do have uh, my buffer in my checking account. I think right now it's at about like $120. Um, so that's that should be enough. Um, okay, coffee. I spent a total of $25.70. So 
and I have 30 here, so I'm just going to do 25. So that'll be it for my little mini cash envelopes binder. Now on to this one here. Um, so coffee, which is my Nespresso. I spent $49.50. I have 20, 40, 5, 50. So I'm going to do 50. Let me, these fives are ugly anyways. So they're the same. So I'm taking out 50. And this 10 will stay here. Okay, next here is shopping. And shopping, I spent 232 and I know I don't have that much here. I have 150, 71. So I have 171. Let's see. Let me move this over here so it's out of my way. So I spent two, let's round it up to 233 minus 171. So I am short $62, which is okay. This is why it's important to always have a little bit of buffer in either your checking account or even like a cash buffer just for when, you know, you have those weeks where you overspend, you're able to at least cover, you know, the difference. Um, okay. So that's fine. Um, let's see. Light blue binder. We, my husband ordered something on Amazon for his car. So that was $35.45. So let's do $20. Hmm. I'll do 40 and get $5 back. I'm just trying to find the ugliest 20 that there is. Okay, so 40 and I'm going to get $5 back. Okay. So there is that for car maintenance. And then clothes it was 105.70 so I have 105 we're gonna do 106 perfect and I think um we got something at Ross and then I went to Nordstrom's and I got myself a few things so there goes that okay and then finally the other one that i'm going to be removing money from is christmas however christmas has some prop money in here majority is prop money and then there's a little bit of cash so for christmas i need to pull out 305 but i have one okay <laughs> i said one i have 20 40 60 70 one two so i have 72 here um so that's fine i'm gonna write 72 so in total was 305 minus 72 in cash. So 233 is what I need to transfer. So I'm just writing this down for myself here. Um, yeah. Yeah, for any Christmas spending, I like just to prop money because I have uh, my Christmas sinking fund in the bank and then I have my designated credit card for Christmas spending. That way I know, you know, to pay that off. Um, okay, so that is it for this one. And then finally, the last thing that I'm going to do is pull out some money from my bills binder. My bills binder is majority prop money. I think the only two or three envelopes is cell phone, debt, and I think that's it. Um, that is cash. But starting in January, I'm going to stuff these in real cash and then just keep mortgage in my bill account. Because, um, like I mentioned before, most of my bills are paid with a credit card, um, with the exception of some utilities that I'm not able to use a credit card. But other than that, like everything else is paid with a credit card. So let's see. Um, nothing for utilities yet. Wi Fi is 76. So 
20, 40, 60, 75, 6, so 76. So I'm pulling out the prep money. Cell phone is 120. I know this one has physical cash in here. So it'll be 100. Let's pull out the other 100. 120. So 120. And then this is going to be for next month's bill. Um, car insurance was 208 this month. So one, two, ten. And I need uh should I just round it up? I need another dollar, give myself change. But it's okay, I know I'll put a dollar in there. Um and then subscriptions, I need 17. So 10, 15, 16, 17, perfect. So let me put this over here. And let's see, life insurance, I need a 16. Oh, and this one's actually real cash. So um, I would need $4 and change. Okay. Um, nothing out of debt. Miscellaneous is going to be 120. That's 120 exactly. Okay, so that is it for my bills. So I'm gonna actually count, organize this, and this will tell me how much I need to pull out of my bill account and transfer. So I can pay off the credit card where I pay these bills. All right. I have a credit card designated for um, these bills that I pay. So it's 100, 200, 320, 40, 60. So that's 360, 70, 80, 90, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. So 421 is what I need to transfer. I'm gonna write this down. Okay, so that is that. Now let me tally up all of the totals here that I had in my little notes section. Just give me a second. So for cash envelopes, I pulled out 90 from eating out, 50 from gas, 100 from spend, 25 from coffee, and 17 from beauty, which is 282. And then my sinking funds, I pulled out 50 from Nespresso, 171 from shopping, 35 from cart maintenance, 106 from clothes, and a $72 in cash for Christmas. So that's $434. And then for bills, I pulled out $120 plus a $16. So that was $136. And then separately, I'll just write a note for myself of how much I need to transfer. Like for Christmas, I know I need to transfer um, the remaining, which was like $233. And then for my bill account, I know what I need to transfer. So that's just going to be my little separate note. Um, let me tally up how much it is in cash. So 282 plus 434 plus 136 equals $852. So we'll do 852 cash. Okay. So let's count this money here. As you guys know, this is like the part that makes me a little nervous because I just don't know whether everything balanced or not. Let's use a calculator. Okay, we're gonna use a calculator to count this. So one, two, three hundred. Fifty, one, fifty, one, fifty. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. Hold on, sorry. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-one. 
20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 30, 40, 40, 10, 20, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 852, yay! It balanced, it balanced, it balanced. <laughs> it just started pouring right now you guys like massive pouring that is crazy um but thank you guys so much for watching this is my cash on stuffing for week number two i really really appreciate you guys sticking around watching these videos and enjoying them enjoying this method if you guys have any questions um regarding this method let me know i'm more than happy to help out as best i could i'm not a financial advisor but i can give you a little bit of tips and what's worked for me um but yeah this is it you guys have a great one and i will see you in the next video Bye bye